Welcome to Pack Discussion, where I open a pack of magic cards and talk about the mechanics, arts, and lore of the cards. My name is Winter, and today we'll be looking at Modern Masters 2017. Dinrova Horror. First printed in Gate Crash, this card was moved down from uncommon to common. When Dinrova Horror enters the battlefield, return target permanent to its owner's hand. Then, that player discards a card. If your opponent has no cards in their hand, then this horror is a removal spell. This might see some play in Popper. Not a first pick, but playable. Demir Guildgate, a blue-black land that enters the battlefield tapped. In terms of this set, it is just a land that helps fix your mana. In the context of a return to Ravnica block, it is worse than the shock lands. But if you make a deck around Maze's End, you need a copy of this gate in your deck too. Augur Spree, an instant that gives a creature plus four, minus four. It can be a removal spell for a small creature or a pump spell for a big creature. Originally printed in Return to Ravnica, it has the flavor text, Finally, a weapon the Boros can't confiscate. I wouldn't want to go anywhere near that thing anyway. Core Skyfisher, a 2-3 flyer for 2 mana, is above the curve, but it comes with a downside. When Core Skyfisher enters the battlefield, you must return a permanent you control to your hand. If you build the right deck, this could be an upside. Skyfisher sees plays in popper decks where it returns artifacts that can draw you cards or lands that gain you life. Sometimes I snare the unexpected, but I know its purpose will be revealed in time. Could be a reference to just this. Slaughterhorn. A 3-2 for 3 is nothing special, but the Blood Rush ability gives it a lot of opportunity. You could pay a green and discard it to give an attacking creature plus 3 plus 2. This card is very powerful in draft, and comboed with Revive in this set, you can pump up a creature and get Slaughterhorn back later on to play it. Night Terrors. For 3 mana, you get a sorcery that reads, target player reveals his or her hand, you choose a non-land card from it, exile that card. There are a lot of cards in black that give you this effect. Some others are more efficient and do slightly different things. This card was first printed in Innistrad and boasted in the flavor text. Innistrad is a place where dreams invade the mind and mere shadows exact a terrible toll. Wake the Reflection, a sorcery that has one word, populate. Populate lets you put a copy of any creature token you control under the battlefield. This can be a super powerful ability in this set and in general. Some of the tokens you can create from this set are 3-3 three, three Elephants, 3-3 three, three Golems, and even a Star Star Ooze for one mana. The flavor text is wonderful. You see a bird, an oak, a pack beast. I see the potential for an army. This quote speaks a lot for what the Slesnia believe in. Rubble Belt Macaw. Very similar to the card earlier, Slaughterhorn. They work well drafted together, actually. Once again, he can be an uncounterable pump spell or a creature when you need it. Graceful Reprieve. An instant that reads, when target creature is put into a graveyard this turn, return that card to play under its owner's control. With its first printing in Morning Tide, it comboed well with Mold Drifter from Lorowin. You could evoke the Mold Drifter, then cast Graceful Reprieve to draw four cards and keep a 2-2 flyer around. This card is downshifted from uncommon to common, but is not the first effect like this in Popper. It's very similar to Angelic Renewal and might be worse than Undying Evil. Spell Pierce. First printed in Zendikar, this counter spell does work. It was most prominent in the standard Coblade deck and modern twin decks of the time. If you are on the draw, you can counter a lot of your opponent's turn two and turn three plays. There's a hole in your plan, says the flavor text. I like to think that you, the wizard, saw a little flaw in their spell and broke it up. But they could pay a little more mana to fix it. Agent of Masks. Originally printed in Guild Pack, this Orzhov creature is 5 mana for a 2-3 with the ability, at the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses one life 
and you gain life equal to the life lost this way. This effect is what seems to be an earlier version of the extort mechanic, which would not come out for another seven years. This card got new art with the Modern Masters version, but they were both as creepy. Jungle Shrine, a land that enters the battlefield tapped, but taps for three different colors of mana, green, red, and white. These colors represent the Naya Shard from Shards of Alara, where it was originally printed. On Naya, ambition and treachery are scarce, hunted nearly to extinction by the Ah Od to terrestrial gods. The Shard of Naya was full of aggressive beasts. Arcta Spinner Downshifted from rare to uncommon, this card was first printed in the M12 core set. It pairs well with a common from this set and that set called Arcanus Web because of the spider's ability. You could tap any spider to search your library or graveyard for the web and attach it to the creature. This was a very fun and flavorful combo you could draft in this set. Thrag Tusk, a powerful rare that I can't even begin to explain. When it enters the battlefield, you gain 5 life, which can stabilize you against aggressive decks. And when it leaves the battlefield, you put a 3-3 green beast token onto the battlefield. This card's amazing! I encourage you to check out the video by the Magic Man Sam through the link in the description. He inspired me to make these videos, and he has a wonderful video explaining the power of Thrag Tusk. Scourge Devil, a foil! Another downshift from uncommon to common. Four and a red gets a 3-3. Three, three. When Scourge Devil enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one plus zero until end of turn. Where this card shines is its unearth cost. If it's in the graveyard, you can pay a red and two to put this creature into play with haste and pump your team. Last but not least, we have a golem token. This token is created by the different splicers in this set which is kind of a sub-theme or tribe you can draft in this set. Uh, different splicers can regenerate it, give it first strike or vigilance, and are easy to flicker in this set to get extra golems. That was our pack! Thanks for watching! Not the best rare, but an impactful one. As always, leave your feedback in the comments, and tune in next Friday for a pack of Onslaught.